Armored Core Law, the story of Armored Core Project Phantasma. The year is ED-0156. In Amber City, a doomsday organization known as the Wednesday Agency is active and performing research in the closed areas on their new project. The citizens of Amber City have been forced to live in slums, while the Wednesday Agency only expands, taking over laboratories, training grounds, and even the city's defenses. The corporations of Chrome and Murakuma have no interest in the city, leaving this group to take over as little tyrants. However, it's during this year that a raven will receive a message from an unknown group. Bypassing the usual checks of R and even Raven's Nest itself, the email requests the raven aid in a mission located in Amber City. However, before this, they have a test for the raven to see the pilot's true power. It's here the location coordinates for a materials dump is supplied along with a very large credit offer. The raven, being one not to turn away from a challenge, accepts this mission and heads out to this material dump, only to find it lightly guarded. With this in mind, the raven is set on a path, as they engage the defense force, wiping out MTs as calls for help echoes through the radio. The raven, however, is quick, destroying what they can in the time given before fleeing. But this bird of darkness would pass the test with flying colors, and it would not be long before the unknown group who first contacted would be in contact again. This time, however, with a real mission for their now hired Raven. Infiltrate Amber Base. This would be the first mission the Raven takes to counter the Doomsday Organization. Although not known at the time by the pilot, it would be the start of the downfall of the group. From being dropped outside the city, the Raven is quick to destroy the four generators that power the security door before storming in. In a hail of bullets and two lift rides later, the Raven is finally at his targets, four underground condensers that the Raven destroys, allowing the pilot to enter Amber Crown and complete the first of many missions from this unknown group. This would lead to the first contact with Stinger, an irregular Raven who seems to have a bone to pick with the people who he seemed to be working for. The mission was set to trap the Raven working against the Wednesday Agency. However, Stinger has other plans as he kills the supposed target of the Raven before commenting, Beep Stinger. Listen, I don't like annoyances. With a failed trap and the unknown group making it clear to the Raven through email that the last mission was not from them, this would cause the Raven to be a little cautious towards the next mission, as they sent him off to rescue an ally from an enemy laboratory. The details, as always, were limited. However, with the basic information in hand that to even have a chance to rescue the prisoner, the Raven would have to destroy the main power generator of the lab to open the security doors of the lab he was off. With little to no defense force outside the lab, the Raven storms into the laboratory, taking out any MT that stands in their way, before meeting Stinger once again. Acting as a guard for the laboratory, the pair of Ravens battle out with bullets and lasers flying, before finally Stinger is disabled by the Raven's attack. His AC on its knee, as the Raven heads deeper into the laboratory, the security of the lab is a joke to the Raven, as clearing out any who gets in the mercenary's way, before finally taking out the power generator. This sets off alarms all across the base, and seems to give the Raven's target the chance to escape, as over the radio a message is heard. To all security personnel, the test subject has hijacked a battle rig in the third sector. All units pursue. It seems the prisoner is not about to sit about and wait to be recovered. As such, the Raven heads to the third sector to find this running prisoner cornered by two other battle rigs. For the Raven, the rigs are easy pickings as after the death, the Raven and his target now flee together towards the laboratory's air transport area, where a plane awaits them. A daring escape of dodging bullets and a countdown till the base goes into lockdown finally leads the pair of escapees into the plane before the prisoner introduces herself. Thank you for your assistance. I am Sumika. I am the one who requested the rescue mission. Sumika, a Raven from Amber City, and also the unknown group who had been sending the Raven messages. She would, from here, hire the Raven as her personal mercenary to combat this doomsday organization and their Project Phantasma. The pair would forge a quick alliance, as soon after this, they would get to work. Sumika and her Raven would first take out a military force from the Wednesday Agency, performing a military drill. Sumika believed this to be a way for the group to get data for this project, however, the Raven does not comment, as their only job was to kill, and so they would. After what only could be described as a bloodbath of oil and metal, Sumika would not slow down the assault on the Doomsday organization, as she would then send the Raven off to disrupt the shipping lanes of the Wednesday Agency. It seems after the last attack, the group were trying to send new supplies to the military base. 
however the raven would be there to stop them. The trucks of supplies and even their defences had little chance against the skill of the raven, who with the aid of Sumika would start them all with bullets and lasers before heading back to the slums of Amber Crown to get his next mission. The pair seemed to have little rest, as Sumika and the raven move out this time to catch a VAP from the Wednesday Agency's testing ground in the southwest of Amber City. More jungle than city, the raven and Sumika sneak about the testing ground until the arrival of a well-dressed man who is dropped off by helicopter. After he enters the building, the pair strike, wiping out the defense horse of the base before Sumika captures the VIP at gunpoint. With prisoner now in tow, the pair then flee back to the slums of Amber City, where Sumika plans to interrogate him. However, the pair are ambushed by Stinger and the Wednesday Agency MTs. A battle between them ensues, with the Raven being the driving force behind the attack, while Sumika defends their prisoner. It's here again Stinger would feel the sting of defeat from the Raven before he flees, commenting, I see I wasn't careful enough. Oh well, I'll hunt you down for fun later. This would allow for some time to rest and interrogate the VIP, leading to the Raven to learn from Sumika's email that this Wednesday organization is being funded by a conglomerate and aided by companies for their research. It seems outside help is allowing for this group to function and have such military might, yet it seems that that trust was breaking down. After learning about this, the next mission would see the Raven and Sumika take out a detachment of the group that seemed to be looking for their VIP. Though Sumika is not sure why they are in the south of Amber City, she does not take any chances and with the Raven wipes them out. Another battle over, the pair return to the slums to rest before Sumika comes to the Raven with another mission shortly after. The Raid of the Wednesday Agency Headquarters The mission is to get into the base and retrieve data on Project Phantasma, as it is still an unknown quality and more information is needed to make their next move. This mission is a lot more difficult for the Raven, as the base is armed to the teeth with MTs and defenders that stand in their way. It would be after more fighting and boosting that finally the Raven and Sumika would arrive at the computer room where the data is stored. However, while Sumika extracts this data, the Raven must hold back a wave of foes before finally the pair make their escape. It is a hard-fought battle, yet it is far from over as the pair witness bombers bombing the base while dropping off para MTs as well. It seems the sponsors of this group were wanting to wipe out the base and them along with it. Yet once again the seal of the raven saves them both before they flee into the darkness as the base burns into ash. Sumika and the raven however have no time to rest as the new information leads the pair to the North Highland. A snowy area of Amber City where the remains of the Doomsday Organization and Stinger are hiding with Project Phantasma. It's here the Raven would deploy before being put to the test once again by the forces of the Wednesday Agency and finally the first real sighting of Project Phantasma being piloted by Stinger. The pair of Ravens duel in their machines of war with the Raven forcing Stinger to flee once again with damage to the new project. He takes flight leaving the group as the Raven takes their own leave only to find the new base of Sumika is now under attack by the Wednesday Agency at the Northern Old Castle. This seems to be a last rush as the MTs keep coming and coming as they seem to throw everything they have at the two. Yet it is not enough, and when the battle is over, Sumika thanks the Raven for their assistance, however knows they cannot stay here, as such the pair must move on with their task to take out the project. This new drive would lead them to the place where Sumika believes Stinger and the project could be found, located in the subway area of Amber Crown. It's an area looking to be a war zone with large holes in the ground, however a security system is still in place, leading Sumika and the Raven to have to take it out before finally the Raven and Stinger meet again. This time however the regular is more aggressive and seems determined not to let the Raven get Project Phantasma. The Raven however is not one to back down, who after another grueling battle between Stinger and the Raven Stinger cries out in rage before running off in his damage armored core. The Raven gives chase, only to see Stinger has taken off with the project once more, and this time Sumika orders the Raven to give chase and finish him off. It is then, after this, that the Raven would return to the base to recover before giving chase. However, he would soon get an email from Stinger himself, a call out to end this once and for all. The Raven would answer, and head to an area known as the Sealed Establishment Abyss where the real Project Phantasma would be seen. Scarlet red as blood, the machine had merged with Stinger who Ram was out being unstoppable and how the Raven will now die. 
It is not a simple battle, but a war between a new machine of war and the known armoured corps, as lasers flash, missiles fly, and machines clash. The end comes for Stinger as the Raven kills him, before escaping the explosion of the project, as finally he and Sumika share some final words between them. We did it. We destroyed Phantasma. Maybe we could have adapted the technology, but I guess it's better this way. I would like to ask for your help again later. You are quite a strong ally to have. Just give me a discount next time, huh? After this, the Raven would return to Isaac City, and as for Sumika, she would remain in Amber City. The fate of Sumika would not be shown. However, this Raven, the pilot, would go on to become a Nine Ball Killer.